has been growing from strength to strength. It enables financial institutions, SME and retail customers to send predictable, fast, highly secure and indeed competitively priced low value cross border payments. Take up of SwiftGo is rapidly gaining momentum with nearly 400 banks signed up in over 110 countries. A lot to absorb. That's why to look at this success story in more detail, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Fabian Depaz, who's the global product lead SwiftGo and pre-validation at Swift, and also Damien Guderis. Now, Damien is the payments industry engagement manager, cash management at BNP Paribas. Gentlemen, it's very good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us here. It's amazing as well that you both have very long job titles. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? We got there. We got there. But Fabian, let me start first with you, because, you know, the low value payments market, it is skyrocketing. It's a very obvious thing to say, but that is the reality. It's going from strength to strength. We've got more and more players coming into the circus ring and they are promising exceptional solutions. So given that, what is Swift Go and why is now the best time to roll it out? Yes. Yeah, so you just mentioned it. The, 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 the low value payment space is really skyrocketing. And banks are actually uniquely positioned to capitalize on this growth. They have the trust and the relationship of their customers. But in that market, and most specifically in the consumer and small business segment, what really matters is the predictability. That's the name of the game. And so that's why Swift Go enables our banks to have fully predictable payments upfront, transparent end to end, and with competitively priced payments. OK. And, and Damien, from your perspective, BMP, it is live with Swift Go as a sending bank in GBP, helping to transform the experience for customers and SMEs on low value payments. So what were the key drivers for BNP to join SwiftGo? I mean, Fabian's been talking about the predictability that it gives you. Was that one of the key drivers here, the, the one, of the, one of the main attractions? Yeah, so, so BNP is, is looking for a long time on the different way to better process payments and the low value one are part of it. And, and SwiftGo was really interesting because first, it defined a, a specific rule book rules that the banks has to follow to execute it but it make it a standard for the market so you know that if you want to do that in that currency you can easily use it and that's very easy to to implement and discuss with the banks you speak the same languages the second part is really on uh, on what swift is doing they are leveraging on the existing rail of payment execution. So we can continue to do what we do today, but with a better execution. And also they are leveraging on market infrastructure. So it's very easy to implement and you can have a real reach of the solution. Mm. And the fascinating thing whenever we talk about payment systems, Fabian, is that there are certain key words which come up, obviously the guardrails, but it's this idea of having something which is painless and it is seamless. So given all of those factors, how do you see this at community level and where does the real value lie? Well, as you know, at Swift, the community is extremely important for us. And so we started to design Swift Go first with GPI banks, but then we extended that to the entire Swift community since June, covering even non-GPI banks. And we've done so, of course, to make sure that the solution brings uh, what it requires in terms of their end user needs, but also to make sure that the model is sustainable for the entire chain. And thanks to that, we actually now have on Swift Go today payments that are fully predictable upfront, trackable end to end, no deduction. So whatever you send is what arrives on the beneficiary side. So there's good economics on this as well. Exactly. And those payments arrive for 87% of them in three minutes. Three minutes? Three minutes <laughs> between the initiation and the credit to the end beneficiary account. And I have the feeling as well that three minutes, it's brilliant, it's very fast, but would you perhaps like to reduce that by shave off a couple of minutes ultimately? <laughs> well, back to what Damien mentioned, we're really working with our community, integrated into market infrastructures and really um, harnessing the power of instant market infrastructures yeah. wherever we can to reduce that even further. Sure, so, so the, the talent is there within the system to actually reduce it, to make it utterly seamless, which is fascinating, Damien, because look, whenever you, you think about cross-border payments, one of the main needs or complaints that customers bring to you during these transactions, and how do you think that SwiftGo 
improves the customer experience because ultimately that is what it's all about. It's great for Swift, but it's even better for you. Yeah, of course. So the journey started a few years ago with GPI because before international payment were a complete black box. We started with GPI. We have no the traceability. That is not the new norm from payment. So if you want to improve on the low value side, the minimum is the traceability. You cannot remove that. It's, it's, an, it's the new norm. And now with Swift Go, we go a step further. We have the predictability on the fee. So the client know how much he will pay for the transaction and he know that the full amount will arrive to the beneficiary account. So it's a perfect experience and the timing is great. And what I like with Swift Go is that it's a community adoption. So you know that we are investing on something that is can reach a lot of banks and it's not just a small dedicated corridors. Mm. So that's really great on that. So everybody benefits ultimately, those of yes. course who are part of that community. And Fabian, can you share how Swift Go is actually taking up around the world in terms of that adoption? Because it sounds brilliant, particularly with the speed element. So are you finding that, that everyone's saying, look, come on, we want this now. Are you overwhelmed with demand? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, since the beginning of the year, I'm super happy to announce that we've tripled the number of banks signing Swift Go. So we went from 120 to no more than 400 banks. These 400 banks are actually headquartered in 110 countries. Uh, and if all those banks go live, we have at least already 60% of the low value payment flows on Swift today that are covered by the solution. It's quite massive. More importantly, the, the solution actually covers all the currencies in the world. The, all you need is a clearing bank so that you can start actually servicing customers in their local and non-local currency in every country in the world. Mm. That's really what we're building and we're seeing that the community adopts it really fast. So we're super happy with that. Absolutely. And look, the thing is, sadly, time has gone against us, but it's good hearing about it in terms of what's built it up, your experience as the user and the potential going even further forward. So the next time we see you, hopefully it'll go down from three minutes for a transaction <laughs> to about two. But gentlemen, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have to leave it there. But don't forget, we're still here at Cybos TV. Come back and see us because, uh, well, there's more to come.